everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Coach Ahmed with Shames Academy, and today we're gonna learn how to wrap our hands for training. But first, let's talk about the hand wrap itself. I always recommend 180 inch long or longer Mexican style hand wraps for anybody over the age of 14. 14 and younger youth fighters, I always say 120 to 150 inch long. You don't want too much wrapping going on. You don't want too little wrapping. And that's why 180 seems to be the perfect fit for young adults and adults, 120 to 150 for youth fighters. Cool. And uh, let's do a close up and show you how this simple method of wrapping your hand can work for boxing, MMA, or simply hitting the bag at the gym. Go ahead, unravel your wrap. We're gonna start with the ring side, not the Velcro side. And this ring side goes on the thumb. Now, my wrap has this stitch here that I use as a marker to keep the wrap facing this way. At the end of the wrap, the Velcro is not facing the wrong direction. So I put the wrap, I put my thumb through the wrap, and I go to the back of the hand. From this position, I'm only gonna wrap the same direction, from the thumb and around. I'm not gonna change direction for simplicity. And I'm gonna start securing the wrist, followed by the thumb, and then we go up to the knuckles. We go from the back of the hand, around to the wrist, one, two times, nice and snug. Don't over tighten it, it will choke your hand. From here, from the bottom of the hand, I wanna to go to the thumb and I'm gonna do a big circle around the thumb, right here, secure it and go back to the back of the hand. One more time, wrist, from the wrist, I'm gonna go from the bottom of the hand to the thumb, on the outside of the thumb, and I'm gonna do a full circle around it, secure it, and then go back to the back of the hand. From here, I'm gonna go up now to the knuckles and I'm gonna keep my fingers open. And right here, I'm gonna wrap around the knuckles four or five times while keeping my fingers open. Sometimes six, it depending on the size of your hand and the size of your wrap. The reason why I keep my fingers open is because when I relax my fingers and I make a fist, the wrap will be loose enough and it won't be too tight on my hand. Cool, so now we went Again here, one more time, from the thumb, back of the hand, up to the knuckles, fingers open, wrap, 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 five, six times. When you make a fist, you cover the top knuckle, not the bottom knuckles. So the wrap goes in between the first and the second knuckles in here. Once you have good enough padding, at least for me, I'm gonna do a criss cross on the back of the hand. So I'm gonna go from the index side down to my wrist, wrap around the wrist and go up. And now, as you can see, I created an X right here. I'm gonna go up around the knuckles one more time. And now from the bottom of the hand, I'm gonna go down and around to the base of my thumb bone right here. I'm gonna use this as an anchor point, right? From here, anchor point, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna put one between those fingers. Some people use all three fingers, which is fine, you can do that, right? The same direction, keep going the same direction. That just gives too much padding in the palm of your hand. When you close your hand, it might not be comfortable. So. For simplicity, I use only one, which is in between these two fingers. And then I come back the same direction in here, use the thumb bone again. I wrap around the wrist and up to the knuckles a couple of more times, right, to close it. So now I have some good solid padding. I feel my hand secured in the thumb area and the wrist. So I go from here down to the wrist again. We go back to the wrist. We start with the wrist and we finish with the wrist. And now I wanna try and make it even more snug. Go down maybe two, three inches from the wrist joint to here. Give it more support. 
and all the excess go around my wrist if you end up with excess. If you use the method of between three fingers, right, you're going to end up with a uh, less padding or less wrap, so you won't have this much left on your wrist. Cool? Now remember that going between your fingers is not really to protect your knuckles, as some people think. Going between your fingers has only one purpose, and that's preventing the wrap from peeling off when you put your hand through a glove. It keeps it secure in place. So the wrapping between the fingers shouldn't happen early on in the wrap, but in the final stages. I hope this was a simple method to help you wrap your hands and train safely. Take care, and we'll see you in the future.